This is going to be quite uh, the grindy season. Actually, you know what? I think they should just not call it Minecraft anymore and just call it Grindcraft because without iron farms, it's going to be the biggest grind ever. <laughs> Hey there everyone, my name is Gamepar and welcome back to another episode from the Minecraft Cafe. So grab your favorite hot beverage, grab a nice wonderful snack, and pull up a chair at the cafe table. We are down here in the depths of Minecraft, once again in the slime hunting area. And you can see all the different slime hunting platforms behind me. We are down here because in today's episode we are going to start working on a slime farm. You see there are two resources that are desperately needed in order for us to continue working on our two projects above ground, namely the kelp farm and the bamboo farm. And those are slimes, like the little guy behind me, and iron. We need loads and loads of both of those for this project. So we're going to get working on doing that. And I'm going to explain that a little bit while I kill this slime and take its slime balls. The double slime spawning area directly behind this wall over here is the area that we are going to turn into a slime farm. So that means that we are going to need to do a little bit of preparation work. The first thing I'm going to need to do is dig out the area above this all the way up just above level 40 so that we can get the maximum number of slime uh, spawning platforms in here as we can. The other thing that I'm going to do is uh, block off the spawning areas over here, the slime chunks over here. So I'm just going to fill in this area with blocks. I'm going to salvage all of this lime green because I'm sure that we'll be able to use it in that project over there. I want to block these off so that we don't get random slimes spawning over on this area and reducing the uh, number of slimes that are going to spawn in our automatic collection area over here. So I'm going to start working on digging this out and I'm going to be collecting every little bit of iron I can along the way and then I will block these off. So when, by the time I bring you back that should be done so i have spent hours i mean hours digging out this area up here and i have oh my good gravy oh there 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 there, there are there are slimes everywhere okay i'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna tell you ah i'm gonna tell you something i i uh, several nights ago um probably like last week sometime i well, last week I was in a swamp trying to uh, get slime because I need, desperately needed slime to build the kelp farm, right? And and I had a dream at nighttime that I just had like thousands of, of slimes attacking me. And it kind of seriously looked a little bit like this. I mean, there are slimes everywhere. And oh, this, this is crazy because I need to get back in here to get work done. But this is a good thing because this means that the the slime farm is going to be productive. Oh man, I should have got a screenshot of this. This would have been crazy. All right, I've got most of those cleared out. I think it's going to slow down because I'm actually right inside the slime farm at the moment. But I want to show you the work I've done. Uh, this is five layers plus a sixth, the final sixth layer that I am in the middle of constructing right now. Uh, each of these layers are going to be the spawn platforms. They are the, the, the full two chunk sizes and then this outer area is ex outside of those two chunks. And then in each of these spots I have uh, these guys, the uh, iron golems, which are attracting the slimes to the edges. I've got one at each end. I know that they're the middle middle will be slightly out of range of the golems uh, aggro on them, but uh, I, I, they, they will bounce around and they will finally uh, see that there's a golem there and they'll try to go in and attack. Uh, <laughs> I think that we're going to get some really good rates off this. I'm actually super excited. Um, I am, let's see here, I am this close down to the area that we were searching for slime chunks in. So that is going to be the final uh, platform right there, I believe. And then uh, we're going to have the mechanics, the kill zone. Uh, I wanted to give enough space because I'll dig down a little bit too, but I want to give enough space for the kill zone, like well, a water channel kill zone and uh, some mechanics for collecting all the slime balls that we're going to get. So this is where I'm at. I've still got a bit of grindy work to do before... Um, before I can get uh, to some of the more uh, fun stuff to show you, like building the 
uh, the water trenches that are going to go along here, funneling everything to a centralized killing area, and the mechanics that are going to be involved in doing the slime killing. I'm thinking that we're going to use that same mechanic of the hopper minecart, uh, and we're going to use uh, magma, magma blocks in a centralized location to kill them. That way we're reducing the number of hoppers that we are using, and hopefully reducing the lag a little bit. So I'm working on the collection stream areas here, and I just had a thought. My original plan was that I would have the uh, slimes all being pushed towards the center somewhere around here. But then I thought the slimes are most likely to fall down close to where the golems are because that's where they're going to want to gravitate towards. They're going to want to attack the, uh, the iron golems. And I want to try to clear them out of the system as quickly as possible to open up space for more to spawn in. So I thought I should have my killing area here, right below the Tower of Golems. So what I think I will do is I'm going to split the water stream in the middle and they'll either fall to one side or the other side of the water stream and they'll get pushed. If they fall off uh, on the, along this line or along the other line, they'll get pushed either that way or this way and come around and be killed on uh, magma blocks right here. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Got the initial hoppers in place that are going to be underneath the hopper minecart smashed with magma cubes. And I've just done a little bit of calculation. I need 35 more hoppers, 34 minecarts, which is a total of 209 pieces of iron. <sighs> I'd better get mine in. Well, two hours later, and I have all the iron that I need to finish this project. Uh, that's just under five stacks of iron, and uh, boy, was that ever a grind. And that's not all the iron I'm going to need for all my projects that are currently on the go. So, um, without iron farms, this is going to be quite uh, the grindy season. Actually, you know what? I think they should just not call it Minecraft anymore, and just call it Grindcraft. Because without iron farms... It's going to be the biggest grind ever. Anyway, I'm going to get this stuff all crafted up, all the stuff I need, and get at it. So I know I showed this process to you in the last video with the other farm, but it's just so satisfying. There we go. And the first row of uh, killing mechanism is in place. First killing platforms in place, and boy, was it an exercise in futility. Uh, those mine carts are annoying but you can kind of see one in here and uh so yeah they are in place they were a job and a half to get in there though um so incredibly frustrating but now i get to reproduce this on the other side collection areas are done killing platforms both of them are in place time to put down some water now we need some signs in order to prevent the water from flowing. Now those aren't going to prevent this, the, the slimes from going through, are they? I don't think so. Because I need these to hold the water in place. We're going to go one bucket of water. Two bucket of waters now. Ah, uh, that doesn't quite get me close enough. <sighs> well... The solution to that problem is this, I believe. Let's do this, this, and this, and do a couple more buckets of water. There we go. And it's still gonna kill them. Perfect. I'm gonna replicate that on this side. Now the center section. Oh, 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 let's see, let's see, let's see. Ha! That's how it works. And then this water is gonna flow in to prevent them from escaping. Let's just kill them here. Okay, I need to go get me some water to do this. Is he gonna die? Is he gonna die? He's fighting it. He's fighting it. Oh, he's gone back to focus on the uh, on that guy. So he has died. And let's see. They're dying. They're dying. Sweet. I want to see if uh, if we got the appropriate uh, drops. So if it was working, I should get slime balls. There we go. 
It is functioning! Hooray! I'm going to get the rest of the water streams in place, and then we are going to watch the slime balls roll in. Water streams are in place, and as long as that slime isn't trying to focus on me, it goes exactly where it is supposed to be, and it dies, and all of its little slimy bits get sucked up into the collection system. So, with that, that is our slime farm essentially complete. I do need to do a little bit of work on the collection area, but uh, for all intents and purposes, this is the slime farm complete. Oh, one other thing I do need to do is I need to fill in all the blocks directly below this platform so that we don't get slime spawning outside of the farm. So progress update for you, I have filled in the base of the slime farm, meaning that no spawns of slimes are going to be happening outside of the farm area. I've also been doing some work above ground. Now, uh, what I'm showing you here in the amounts of uh, slime balls in these chests is not representative of how fast this farm is because while I was doing work underground, this thing was just pumping out the slime and uh, I've already been down once already to collect it and turn it all into slime blocks. So I want to show you this. Look at that. That's a pretty sight. Now, this has mostly been produced out of the slime farm because I went through a good chunk of these slime blocks all, uh, that I already had on hand uh, working on the farm. So I'm going to head up and show you what's been going on up there. And what it is that I've been up to is reproducing the kelp farms several times over. So we have um, our original single pod kelp farm, and then we've got our original double pod, and then we have two additional uh, double pod kelp farms here and I've attached the shulker boxes here so that we'll start to get a nice little bit of collection of kelp. Now the plan is that we are going to create a water stream system here that's going to collect all of this and take it to this centralized location, location over here and uh, just have the kelp flow in to get smelted and the bamboo flow in to provide the fuel. So I think that we should probably start working on the water stream for the kelp collection. So first step I'm going to do is remove all of the um, shulker boxes here so that we can get working and we're also going to need to remove the um, hoppers here. I, I, I want to hold off doing that for the moment. Also, I just realized we're going to be playing around with water, so I should probably protect our redstone uh, by covering this up. So we have done our very best to protect this redstone by covering uh, it all up and only allowing the most minimum area to be exposed and come out where it needs to. Uh, now I need to work on getting this water stream collection done. So. We're going to get rid of these hoppers, and we've got a little bit of time before it goes to nighttime. And hopefully we'll get this done before this thing goes to harvest again so we don't lose any of our harvest. So I want the ice layer to be right here. And I just need to make sure that our water uh, flow ends don't end up here. That way we can avoid having to use the fence gate system and we can keep it from being too low because I would like to be able to still come in here and access this. So um, we're going to have ice going along here and I'm going to need to get rid of any of this glass that is in the way. So let me get this cleaned out and I'll go grab some ice. This right here is the grand total of how much ice I have left over. I'm going to have to try to find that ice spikes biome and uh, collect for myself some more. Unless I have some over here. Did I leave some over here? Hoping, hoping, hoping. Nope. All right. Got to go through my notes, find those coordinates, and get some more ice. Oh, actually, uh, is that going to be enough? That might actually be enough. Whew. That'll save me some time if it is. Let's get the ice laid down at least as much of it as we can. Well, we were able to get all that ice in there. That was enough for this part of it, but we will need to go and get some more ice to uh, funnel this into a collection area underground here. So, 
Uh, yeah, I will have to go find that Ice Spikes area, but I don't need to go and do that right now. I can get this collection area done first. Oh, by the way, uh, just to make sure that I don't get a harvest while I'm working on this, I've just removed that piece of redstone so that, uh, it's not hooked up to the daylight sensor. So let's see how this is going to work for us. Let's start with our first water source in here. And hopefully, ah, oh, okay. So we're gonna need to put down a pressure plate here. And then we're gonna want to start the next water flow here. And pressure plate here. Now, I wanna make sure that this is going to function properly, so I should probably drop an item in the tank up there and make sure that it flows out. So let's drop piece of grass. It goes in and goes all the way through. Okay, perfect. So we are on the right track here. It's just the way that the, 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 these water streams look. Uh, they don't look overly... Uh, overly wonderful because it looked like it goes up here to meet up with this water so I was just a little bit worried I need some more water in my buckets now the goal is going to be get the water stream to end exactly right at this block because then we are gonna have the items fall down a tube into another water stream collection area that's gonna funnel them to where we want them to go into the smeltery so that's gonna take a little bit of precision uh, work here. So, okay, water, flow, that's gonna take... Oh no, oh no, oh no! I missed a block and hopefully that's not destroyed any of our redstone. Okay, we've lost one piece of redstone here. And... We lost one piece of redstone here. That looks like the the total of the damage. I'm going to reactivate. Let me grab a piece here. I'm going to reactivate this thing. Uh, it's all going to flow off the end, but I'm going to. I want to make sure that it all still works. So we've got full function here, here, all the way back here here and here there we go okay so we didn't break any of the redstone uh, but we are gonna have a massive collection of water here also I just realized to be on the safe side so that we don't accidentally destroy any of this redstone we're gonna create a bit of a water barrier that way if water flows off the edge here it's not going to break any of that redstone and we should do the same for this redstone here that'll just protect it a little bit. all right next water stream is the one that we had to get rid of quickly because it broke our redstone okay we're safe to go there now we do this one here. Oh, it almost goes all the way. Um, yeah, I, and I can't, I can't do anything ab about that. But, you know what? That's going to be okay because no item is going to get stuck there. So, okay, that, that's, that's perfectly fine. Then items are gonna drop down a tube going down here, and we're going to keep all of our smeltery underneath any redstone trickery that's going on with either of our two farms. That way we don't get any ex accidental mess ups and we avoid all of that space. All right, that is good. All right, I'm just gonna get this framed in so that we don't lose any kelp flying above the wall and then we should be good to go and it's all secured in no kelp is going to go wildly flying anywhere here it's going to be all collected it's going to come down here it's going to drop down this tube 
and we're going to continue this underground. I'm actually just looking underneath this little bit here, and we could quite easily move it over one block because we would avoid any of this redstone stuff here. Um, so I might consider doing that. The farm just activated, and we're going to have a whole pile of kelp sitting here on the ground. So we need to get a temporary collection area in here for the night. Uh, so that we can uh, not lose too much until we get this hooked up to the smelting system. So I'm going to throw down some blocks. I also have some hoppers here that I collected. So let's just grab two of these for now. And let's grab two uh, of these shulker boxes and make sure they are completely empty. And uh, okay, this one's gonna be the easiest. And let me just shove this kelp in here. And in here, there we go. And I'm just gonna set up some temporary uh, I got rid of the... Oh, no, 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 no. I need that here. There. I need that. Okay. I'm going to put these hoppers here. One like this. One like this. Now let's get rid of that glass. And we are just going to throw our shulker boxes. One here and one here. And that's just going to give us some temporary storage long enough to uh, make sure that we don't lose too much of our harvest until we get this next phase of this complete. But that is not gonna be in today's episode because that is all the time that I have. So I hope that you've enjoyed this episode, the slime farm and the collection area here. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button. That really does help me out. As always, if you are new to my channel or if you haven't done so yet, why not hit that subscribe button today and make me a very happy game part. Take a few moments and check out the YouTube channels of the other Minecraft Cafe members. Well worth your time. But for now, this has been Game Par playing on the Minecraft Cafe. Have a great day, everyone. Avery, what should everybody do? Click subscribe. That's right. Subscribe.